Simpson's Diversity Index is a measure of biodiversity. More specifically, it's a measure of the probability that two organisms sampled from a community are of different species. So you imagine the higher the biodiversity, the higher the probability that there'll be different species. So I'll write down that definition for you, then we'll talk through the formula, and then we'll work through doing an actual calculation. So because it's a measure of biodiversity, it considers both the number of organisms and the number of species. This is the formula, SDI equals 1 minus, so it's the sum of N and in brackets N minus 1 divided by capital N and in brackets capital N minus 1. So what does small n or lowercase n and capital N mean? Well, I'm going to work you through an example. Here's two areas, and we've got three different species. Add another line here. Three different species, and we're going to work out the SDI for area one and compare it to area two. Right, so I'm going to take you through each of the steps. Firstly, I'm just going to write down, so we've got 37, 32, and 25. Now, each of those is N. Lowercase n just simply means the number of organisms of a species, the population. Um, and then we need to do this next step, which is n minus 1. So I highly recommend you set out, when you're doing your SDI formulas uh, calculations, in this particular way, just so you don't um, make any mistakes. Okay, so the next step was n minus 1, so that's quite simply 36 32 and 24. And the next step is n, n minus 1. So in other words, that times that. Now I've cheated because I can't work that out in my head, my brain. Uh, 37 times 36 is 1, 3, 3, 2. 32, oops, I made a mistake here, didn't I? This is why we need to be really systematic. 32, 31. So 32 times 31 is 992. 25 times 24 is 600. Okay, now, this means sum. So we need to work out the sum of each of these. So 1332 plus 992 plus 600, and that gives us a value of 2924. Okay. We have done the top row. The top row is this value here. Now we need to look at the capital N. Capital N is adding up all of the organisms in the whole community. So we've got 37 plus 32 plus 25. So capital N equals 94. Now we need to go capital N minus one. So that's obviously 93. And then we need to do capital N, N minus 1. So that's 93 times 94, and that's 8, 7, 4, 2. Right, now, we've done the top, and we've done the bottom row. Now, so we just need to substitute that into our formula. So SDI equals 1 minus, now, this is our numerator, 2, 9, 2, 4 divided by 8742. Okay, and we then just put that into our calculator and we work out the SDI equals 0.67. That is our SDI for area one. So what does that mean? It means there's 67% chance that two organisms sampled from the community will be of different species. So what I'd like you to do now is have a go at doing area two by yourself.